All right, let's get an email question now. And this one comes to us from Nate. And uh, his question is definitely a timely question. His question is about vaccines. Is it legal for a venue to require proof of vaccine in order to attend a concert if you've already purchased the tickets? That's a fair question. It's a fair right. question, and I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't think anybody knows yet. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, I, I think, you know, the purchase of a ticket for a, a concert puts a little twist on it. But I think a, a restaurant or a private business can say they're not going to let you come in and, and do business unless you either wear a mask or, or you uh, have a proof of vaccination. I think it's perfectly... I think some, a couple of the large concert companies I know have now adopted a vaccinated only policy. You're not going to be able to get in unless you've been vaccinated. But you know, on the situation with this question where the ticket's already been bought, there may be some wiggle room in that. I think a refund would be in order, if nothing else. Ah, I think that's a good question. Yeah, that. Might add something else on the vaccines. They, they were talking about the booster on the national news today, uh, that it would be available at, I think they said by September the 20th. And the fact of the matter is, uh, I, I know a friend of mine who just went to CVS and got the booster. I mean, he falls within that group of people who are immunocompromised, but I think if you're immunocompromised or if you're an older person, you can get the booster now. They recommend that you get um, the same thing that you started with. For instance, if you had Pfizer, you got a Pfizer booster. If you had Moderna, you get a Moderna booster. Uh, but they also say that you can switch. Uh, if you had a, two vaccinations with Pfizer, you can get the Moderna uh, booster. And that's hmm. something that seems like the, the national news people are behind on. Okay. Well, <laughs> regarding these vaccines or proof of vaccines, I, I think this is, well, do you foresee that this is going to be an interesting debate going on? Um, you know, because I think people are going to start screaming about their rights and this, that, and the other. I can't eat at your restaurant. I can't go to certain places without having to show proof. Well, they, their, rights, their rights thus far are being protected. They, they have a right not to get the vaccine if, if mm -hmm. they don't want it. I, I think that's silly, but uh, some people feel strongly about it, usually without much basis. In fact, I had some information here. Let me, this was one of the, the most recent, uh, um, I mean, uh, COVID counts in the medical center here. A Navicent. They have 117 people hospitalized. Of those, 109 are unvaccinated. There were 28 people in the ICU. Uh, 27 were unvaccinated. There were 18 on ventilators. 17 were unvaccinated. And the one that was vaccinated was 90 years old. Now, what more do you need to know than that to go get a vaccination? Well, there you go. Listen, I, I tell you, <laughs> there you go. So it's just a matter of making sure you show proof of that, having that document with you wherever you go is what it's uh, shaping up to be, it seems, because everybody wants you to show proof that uh, you have been uh, vaccinated. So there you go.